So I've got a leak in my John boat. Uh, we discovered it last fishing season. We continued to fish. Um, I decided to take it out again just so I can get footage of the water coming into the boat. Um, we, I believe that the leak is at these rivets in the uh, second rib there. Um, because when you get in the front of the boat, more water comes in. Um, when I sit towards the back, it doesn't really seem to continue filling. I had to move to the front to grab a, a tackle box off the front there. Um, and more came in. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this. Um, I bought some sealant specifically designed for aluminum boats um, to seal rivets, cracks, and other issues. I've had this boat since 1996, I think. Uh, my wife sold a, an old, I think it was an 85 Mustang, and uh, we went together to buy this. Uh, so that's when I knew she was the one. <laughs> really nothing to be too concerned with, unless you were gonna be out here all day with like three people in the boat. I spent a few minutes up on the front of the boat. I took a couple casts, caught a bass, and it brought in a lot more water. Um, we're been out here by maybe 15 minutes. Um, back of the boat's got a decent amount. It ain't gonna sink me today, but definitely want to get it fixed. So we'll share that with you. It is coming in from the front. You know, it's got to plug them up on shore now. All right, we're back. We brought the boat up to the pavilion so we can keep it undercover um, for the night when we finally uh, get to put this coating on it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to wire wheel each of the rivet sections, the length of the boat. We're going to run 80 grit sandpaper over it to prep it for the seal. And then we're going to wipe it down with this pre-clean. Um, this is the PC90 virgin solvents. Um, I use this for a lot of my snowmobile work. Anytime we're going to paint something, this removes any oils that are on the surface. And the final step is we're going to use this, I don't know, glove it, move it, waterproof epoxy sealer. Um, it's intended for uh, boats, actually. It's for fiberglass. Um, this will cover 25 to 30 square feet. It should actually do this boat, um, the entire surface. What we're going to do is uh, I plan to dab each rivet the length of the boat and then come back through and coat the entire surface. Um, even before it dries, just make sure we get a good uh, seal on each of the rivets. And at the back side, we're actually going to focus a lot on these contact points here. And the contact point here where we, where we drag the boat up from the water. Um, we do have one spot back here that we thought was the original leak. And it's got jaded well on it. So we're going to fire wheel the crap out of this. Uh, we do not think the leak's coming from here, though, uh, based on the fact that I was sitting in the back when I was fishing. Sealed up. I think that the, the coating will help um, protect it in the future for many of these other rivets uh, loosening up and getting leaks. So we're going to get started. Quick evaporating, get rid of any grease.
right. Directions on the can say that you uh, mix the resin for three to four minutes to ensure complete mixing. Uh, mix ratio doesn't matter because we're dumping all of it in. And if you're using it, you can read it for yourself. Um, but three to four minutes of stirring and you got a 90 minute pot time. So you have about a little over an hour to work with it and you need to be above a temperature of 70 degrees. We're a little lower than that. So it's going to take a long time to dry, but we're leaving here probably until next weekend. So hopefully it doesn't run too much. But if you look, there's plenty of room in there for all of the catalyst. I have a good mixing device, so I'm using a, a aluminum ruler that I had at the house because I have no paint stirrers. I'm gonna grab that and stir this for a couple minutes. That's a good ruler. Yeah, that's a good ruler. It was a good ruler. So we're gonna mix this for three to four minutes to make sure it's thoroughly mixed, and then we'll start applying it. preserve as much as this we can and maybe even save our precious straight edge ruler. All right, I'm using chip brushes only because that's what I have. It does recommend using a paint brush or paint roller. But I'm going to start by this stuff is thick. Maybe I won't start with just these. Oh. Yeah, I can see why this would actually seal. It is almost fibrous. Well, supposedly I have 90 minutes to work with it so I can get, get, get out, come back over it without any issues. I wanna get these rivets good first. So we just uh, wrapped up um, putting this coating on here. I was really heavy on the rivets. That's not part of the instructions, but I felt like that's what I needed to do with this. Um, it probably would have evenly coated this boat. I believe this is a 14 foot John boat, possibly 12. Um, but the one can definitely would have coated the entire bottom. Um, happy with how it coats. It goes on extremely thick. Uh, it's not really running at all. Um, I expect that this will dry and that it will solve our problem and we'll get back to you in probably probably a week I'll finish up the video and we'll see how it floats. Our back. We're going to do our first test run with this uh, boat after getting it sealed and hope that we don't have any leaks. The surface is fairly rough. I mean, it's got all the dust that blew on it and, and bugs and maple leaves and seeds and whatnot. So, I mean, Friction in the water isn't a concern in a John boat. It, it isn't built for speed, so we're going to be cruising along at our normal rate.
pulling, holding a bag. Don't I try not to bang the corners up too bad. I know I put the plug in already, so this is the maiden voyage. Af voyage after. Uh, That's sweet. Weird. Oh, it's coming out of the side. See that hole? Holy crap. Zoom in on that for me. Where's the hole? Oh, I see it. There's a freaking dead trout in it. What? How'd I get there? I'll jump up on there. It's hard not to do you guys know, like Mason. You guys. I just flipped his thing with the screen. That's a big jolt. 100%. That's a big jolt. Was it caught by somebody or how to get up here? Definitely a big jolt. You think it jumped in the dock? No. Yeah. Or maybe a, a fish drop, or a, yeah, fish, a bird dropped it? Yeah. If I set the hook, you don't want it to get caught in my rod. Okay. Yep. Get good at setting the hook then. What? Get good at setting the hook then. Let it sit. I tossed it right there. Mm -hmm. So after moving the boat down here, um, a crack opened up on the hull here, the bottom of the boat. A uh, significant one, actually. Um, must have been seeping through there, but I saw a pinhole earlier, so we're going to fix this with some uh, quick set JV weld, and we'll put it back in the water and find that crack, or the pinhole we thought we saw. Um, I stuck my son under the boat looking for daylight for that pinhole, but did not find it. So we're going to patch this up quick, and then we're going to see if we can find the other hole, if, there's a, if there is another hole. Luckily, we already had sanded this, so I'm going to dent it in a bit. Get more of a surface to smear it over. Save some for the hole. I think that should be enough for these. That's what I will see. Yeah, my makeshift putty knife. This quick step set stuff is only only work with for a couple of minutes. All right, I'm back. 
checking out the patch on the big crack. It's a whole day to sit. We're gonna set it in the water and see if we get any, any other leaks. Hopefully not. I usually have help, but my kids are a little tired today from playing at a birthday party, so I'm doing this alone here. I do have an anchor on shore. I'm gonna walk out in it and see what we got. So far, so good. I don't see any water coming in anywhere. That crack probably was our culprit to begin with. <clears throat> like I said, I've had this thing for almost 30 years. These holes up front on the seat. Because when I had it decked out when I was younger, I actually had a, a car stereo mounted under the seat and um, some Rockford Fosgate speakers in this bad boy <laughs> back when I was just out of high school. Anybody tells you you gotta be quiet to catch bass is wrong because we used to have the system and it's still catching them over here. I think we've uh, I think it's fixed. Maybe I can convince my kids to do some fishing to entertain you for a few hours. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> boat inspector. What was? Jump in there and see if things got leaks. Come on. No. Prove it works. I won't push you out in the ocean. Come on. All good? Yeah. All right. It's going to be nice. It's been a couple of years of uh, wet feet in the boat, so this is going to be awesome. All right, I got my Captain Parker here navigating the ship so I can get some decent footage here. <laughs> Not literally of feet, of course. Um, but there's where the leak was down here. Um, as far as the, I don't know, say glove it or whatever sealed the bottom, I think it did a great job. Um, it wasn't fixing that crack because I didn't put anything on those ridges and then that crack appeared once we brought it down here probably on the drag or the drop getting it back to the water um, but I'm happy I used it because I'm confident that that will you know seal this old boat on any of the rivets uh, that might loosen up over time and it's well it's well overdue I mean it wore into the aluminum pretty heavily um, and but now we're fishing Maybe we'll get one before my battery dies so since we're out here um, this is mud lake I think I have a fish I have a fish Parker all right I'm not the reel now so I, so I had one I lost it Parker got his and I wasn't able to reel because I had a the phone in my hand but anyway what I was getting at was um, the station this channel is named after our property on this lake so this is mud lake I think the road's named after the lake. But anyway, um, it's a 14 acre ish lake, according to my um, hunting app that I checked it out on. But it's a lot of fun to fish on. We've been fishing here for, well, I've been fishing here for about 30 plus years. Um, but yep, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. And if you uh, like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. That's right. It's right in the roof of the house. In the That's a nice one. Let's get it out of here quick. Get it back in the water. Those first couple of fish we caught there were just offshore. 